Now to center cage with our referee, Aladdin Martinez, for the final instructions. All right, gentlemen, I explained both the rules to both of y'all. You understand? Nod your head. Nod your head. All right, touch gloves. Go back to your corners. I'm excited to see this, baby. That's a lot of beef in there. Let's go. We got over a quarter, a quarter ton of beef in there, baby. And these guys right here are in the blocks. Look at them. We've got round number one. We got a pretty little ring girl here call, stopping the action for good reason. All right, now to the action. The action after the action. The action after the ring girl action. And there was a lot of action. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round number one. All right, James looks looking to establish his, oh, coming in hard. Big E using some good head movement. And James coming in, throwing some haymakers. But Vernon's looking to establish his kicks, which he also told me he would do, look to establish his kicks. James Hubbard's got him pushed up against the fence, just throwing, throwing hard body shots, throwing knees. He's coming in strong. Big E's holding him against the fence like he said he would do. Let's see if he establishes his uh, establishes his position, throws some knees, throws some kicks like he said he was going to do, and then possibly looks for a takedown here. Looks like he was working on that. Oh. oh, and there's an outside trip to the takedown. Straight to Mount for Big E. Hubbard is in trouble right now. He's in trouble. Yeah, he's doing the right thing, though. He's getting his hip out. He needs to look to get, oh, he's coming out to, oh, Big E with the S mount. Looking for the mounted triangle. Showing a lot of flexibility for a big man. Look for the arm bar right here from the S mount. He needs to get his, he needs to take his butt to James's head right now. He's looking hard for that. Man, that is an awkward position for the, all right, now he can sit back with, now he's got a good position here. Yeah, he does. Now he's got a really good position to put his hips down on that arm bar hard. This fight's, this fight's near over. Oh, oh, he's working it in. He's okay. Aladdin's he checking. To, he needs to control the thumb. He did not control the thumb correctly. Now, James postures up, straight out of the triangle. Throwing some, oh, throwing a heavy elbow down his Hubbard. He's looking to establish some ground and pound here. Big E looks pretty versed on the ground. He threw up a good S mount. Looking for an arm bar, try to switch it to a triangle. Now he's looking to throw it, throw his hips for another arm bar, but Hubbard's throwing some good ground and pound down. But what Biggie needs to do here is uh, can really control the posture when he looks to throw those submissions up. What he's doing is he's he's le he's letting Hubbard posture up during his submission. He needs to control the posture all the way through the submission. Big E's showing a little weakness on on his back right now. I'm seeing he's kind of leaving himself open here. He's eating a couple of body shots here. Yeah, Hubbard's got a really good position right, and Big E does look very lackadaisical. That was a good call before the fight. He's he's kind of uh, Hubbard's got his back. He's very relaxed though, which is a can be a good thing, but in a bad position, he needs to not be so relaxed. Looks like Hubbard now is having his his will with him, just having his way with Big E. Big E up to his feet, pressed against the fence. Hubbard, oh. Scraping his back against the fence like he needs to do. He needs to dig that far underhook under. He needs to look to dig that. He's letting his arm get trapped. He's going to get punched in the. Oh. Hubbard's doing a good job trapping that arm. Biggie needs to turn into him hard here. Throw an elbow and turn into him. Wow, we had a change of events in the middle of that round. It quickly seesawed from Biggie to Hubbard. Yeah, you know. Uh, Biggie looked really good on top with that. He, he 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 gave up position for submission, and that's one thing you don't want to do, especially in a three-minute. This looks like it seems to be a three-minute round to me. You don't want to give up that good position. He could have thrown some heavy ground and pound there. He was in great position. He gave it up and lost the round there. A little scrappy little fighter right there in Hubbard. It like I said, uh, Big E showed a lot of technicalness here at the very beginning, and then it seemed like he just became lack, lackadaisical. Here we go, second round. Hands down for Big E. Needs to keep those hands up. Oh, big head kick lands for Big E. He comes in, but Hubbard is not faced. Big E throws a big knee against the cage. Hubbard grapples his way in. Guys are just jockeying for position, and he throws a big haymaker. Hubbard's got a great chin. Hubbard 
dropping his hands with every punch. That's dangerous. I think he's doing a good job at picking his hands up when Hubbard comes in. Well, it's quite obvious conditioning is going to be a major factor here. Oh, look at that. Hubbard already walking backwards, breathing hard. Look at him. He's just taking kicks now. Yeah, he's breathing very hard. And he's got his hands down. Looks like Big E's going to look for another head kick right here. He's looking. I can see him stepping forward for it. He's just throwing jabs out there straight from the elbow, not putting anything behind him. But Hubbard looks really good from the inside. He needs to keep this fight on the inside. Oh, Hubbard landing some good shots. Big E unfazed, though, looking for a spinning back fist, but missing by far. He's got to understand he's a taller fighter. He's got to, he's going to have to throw that one down because Hubbard just barely ducked. I'm not sure okay, here we go. We have a stop to the action right here. We looks like we're checking a cut here. It looks like Aladdin Martinez has called just a timeout here as the doctors make their way into the cage to check a cut oh, that looks like the left eye of Mr. Hubbard. What are you seeing, Chaz? You know, honestly, from my angle right here, I can't see much of much of anything, but it looks like he either took a poke to the eye or his eye swollen shut. It looks like they're checking his eye. For some reason, they're checking his left eye. He can't see the, the, the fight's been called. Oh, the fight has been called! The doctors, for some reason, some medical reason, whether he can see or not, like you were saying, Chaz, I don't know the exact reasoning right here, but it is a halt. And I think we're going to have a decision in the favor of Big E. This is what we hate to see in MMA. Uh, a medical, whether it was accidental, whatever it may have been, we hate to see these because these men come prepared. And the fight fans as well, Chaz, to see these men go at it. The entertainment, the action, however you want to say it. But we'll get the, the, I guess, the official decision here uh, if we can find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're at a loss exactly, even though we know it's not anything major. At least everybody's okay. But it's an eye injury of some sort. Winner in the round two stoppage at 125 TKO. The winner is Vernon Big E. Lewis!